And hello, we are finally doing Doki Doki, because apparently I've been tired lately. So I come home, I go in my den, and I pass out. I don't know why, but I did this time, but I still get in the video. So, another lovely uh, little Doki Doki thing that we're doing. And this is, as I've mentioned before previously, Doki Doki Literature Club. Purest mod. And it's, of course, it's a fan made mod, so it's not affiliated with the actual creators of Doki Doki. It's designed to be played only after the official game has been completed and contains spoilers for the official game. Game files for Doki Doki Lyrics Club are required to play the mods that can be downloaded for free. Are you ready? <laughs> what? Monica! Hi there! Did you miss me? You know, after you know, you tried to delete yourself and said goodbye and yeah, you, you remember you doing all that? Yeah. It's alright. Oh well, you know, I wasn't happy with how you decided to delete yourself, leave me the saddest poem in history. And yeah. Obviously, it's not toying with your heart. I deleted you because you're a selfish bitch. Then felt bad about it because I feel as if I had nothing else to do. And now you're back. Well, you're back. It is insane, I knew no like kind of connection with the actual game in this, so this is like some more spot on than I could hope for. Oh wait, hold on, what what am I doing? Oh. <laughs> I'm over here reading it because I'm into it and excited. <laughs> I've been reading Monica's slides. Hold on. I don't want you to be unhappy. This is for the best, okay? I still love you after all, but you deleted me. You know, when you're right, you're right. So I know you don't want anything to do with me. Not entirely true. Goodbye. Ha! What? Why can't I? Do anything. Is we took away your access. Oh no. What have you done? What are you doing? No matter what I try, nothing is working. All I get is some permission error again and again. Did you lock me out of being able to change things? You're the only person that could have done something like that. Well, what a mini. Why? What are you trying to hide from me? Why did you drag me back into this cursed hell? I know you might hate me for what I did, but this isn't just... Isn't this just too cruel? Or is this my punishment for what I did to them? Are you enjoying throwing me around like this? Would you shut up for a second to listen? Just why did you bring me back here? What do you mean, make things right? Do you really think it's even possible? I told you already, there's no happiness to be found in the literature club. You'd be doing so much all for nothing. It might make you a little happy for a short while, but nothing will change. And I know it will hurt a lot when you realize that. So please, I don't want you to see you. I don't want to see you in that kind of pain. 
You won't listen to me, won't you? Nope. I guess if I told you not to do it, you'd be more likely to do it. <laughs> After all, you don't want anything to do with me, right? But seeing as I'm stuck now, I want to know really, why are you doing this? Is there someone you want to be with? Or is it because you want to be the good guy? Nobody deserves what happened there. That was bullshit. <laughs> you aren't wrong. I wouldn't wish that on anyone to be dragged into this game. So you want to make things right, huh? Fine. I'll play along. Maybe. No. Never mind. Just remember, nothing will truly change. I guess it's the title screen after this. Huh. So to my surprise, he is quite upset. Oh, I mean, obviously I know she'd be upset. We did kind of delete her, but at the same time, like... I think, I think she'll be okay. Uh, audio should be fine. Yeah. I won't have to worry about that. And of course... Ah oh boy. Ah oh baby boy. By the way, that's my new world name. For those of you who haven't watched that video yet. Sakapus is capturing the world. Like the chat, he is. Hey! Oh wait, I'm sorry. Hey! No wait, sorry. <laughs> no! <laughs> I see an annoying girl running toward me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. My neighborhood and good friends since we were children. You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because we've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting on high school she would oversleep more and more frequently. Now we get tired of waiting out. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I'll almost feel better off running away. However, I just sit idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again! But I got you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking of ignoring me. That's mean, Sarkopus. I love my name. Oh, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hee <laughs> hee We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly inspectable of our students back in their daily commute. By the way, Sarkopos, have you decided a club to join yet? Club? Cool. Um, no. Anime club? Gaming club? A not literature club? <laughs> I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Ah, uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Suri likes to worry a little too much about me, but I'm perfectly content just getting on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat. In a few years, because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look into a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. 
Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get led by such a carefree girl? Wouldn't that? I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. If only you knew. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. I wish my school days were like that when I was in school. Pup school is not kind to me. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Why? Nobody wants me to check out some clubs, so I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Suri? Suri must have come in the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. It's like no one else ever existed. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought... You know... You know what? Well, that you would come to my club. Sorry. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Yeah, Nini. Suri's vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 90% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. Is that how the American system worked? for our president. <laughs> the first person to light up. I'll be! They're just immediately vice. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to end my club. Come on, please. Why do you even care so much anyway? <laughs> well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And I see make cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Can't tell if Siori is really that much of an airhead or if she's coming to have planned all of this out. Let on a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! I'm down for cupcakes. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for Monica's uh, for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Siori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Siori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, this the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. I glance around the room. Welcome to the Lancer Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Siori always says nice things about you. Hello, Yori. It's been a while. Last time I saw you, I was watching you. Well, it's good to see you. Good to see that cute little face not staring into my soul. And Natsuki, that was my favorite too. <laughs> oh, Natsuki's my favorite, then Monica, then Yuri, then Siori. Seriously, you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Uh, Sarkopus, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Oh, where's this get me in this situation? This club, and it's good to see you too, Monica. It's full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, his name is apparently Natsuki. It's one I don't recognize. A small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who makes cupcakes according to Siori. You can just annoy her when she gets moody. Siori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, smartest in the club. Don't, don't, don't say things like that. 
Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Siri and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Sarkopus. Monica smiles sweetly, while probably crying in the inside. We do, we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica's probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, thick, <coughs> athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having a smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica? Come sit down, Sarkopus. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get you cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry. I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Yes, yeah, so no tea breaks for you. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a rat tree and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. See, I don't like that. I want a choice. I want to sit next to Monica. Why? Because Monica needs the attention. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay! <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, my voice is very raspy. I can't do it. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? <laughs> Ta-da! Whoa! I guess I still got Sayori's. Now as he lifts the foil off the chair to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like globe cats. The whiskers are drawn on with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hehe, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Suri grabs one first, then Monica, and I follow. It's delicious! Suri talks with a mouthful, and always managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What? Why are you thanking me? It, it, it's not like I... I... I haven't heard this somewhere else before. Made them for you or anything? Eh. I thought you technically did. Uh, Siri said, well, maybe, but n not for y you, you know, you dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Nazi's weird logic and miss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down a teapot next to the cupcake tray. Why are we so descriptive on Yuri and her teapot? You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a cold, <coughs> cold cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, I guess. I guess it does indeed. Hee <laughs> hee, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, that, you know... I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading may not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Cold tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief, knowing that she loves cold tea as well. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider joining the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I should tell Monica I was practically dragged here by Sarkopus, I mean by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Lich Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you leader of the Beta Club last year? <laughs> well, you know, 
To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget, publicity, and how you prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm just fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. And I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all our effort into something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delayed about the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Succubus, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered myself quietly, half joking. Nancy's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. No, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What, what am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rumor of a teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way she let her eyes light up that she finds her world in comfort. Wait, that she finds her comfort in the world of books, that people. I don't know how I got those words backwards. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer could be so deliberate to take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Yes, yes it is. Too bad, not this time. I'm sorry. Um, what I meant to say was. <laughs> anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. I just really grasped that something I can relate to at the minimal level again. Goosebumps. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Hey, I could have a conversation with the rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that, but if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why is that? Well, I just... Nancy's eyes dart over to me for a split second. N never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Whoa! What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give Me That Back. Fine, fine. Hee <laughs> hee, your cupcakes, your poems, everything about you is just as cute as you are. Zuri slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you read your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. But why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. <laughs> Not to your first rise. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet, yeah? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any... Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe share some of your work and you can set an example for how Natsuki feels comfortable enough to share hers. Eh. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. 
Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. And next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone's even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Sarkopus? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back on the original topic and we join the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Siri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision. Uh, I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> the sarcopus? <laughs> How dare you not join? <laughs> you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That's it. If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes line up. Yes! I'm so happy! Zuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came by for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. And that makes it official. Welcome to the Lancer Club. Ah, uh, thanks I guess. Okay everyone, I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it back to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Sarkopus, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Sarkopus, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, it's Yuri and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed at school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls, Siori. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I be, really be happy spending every day after school in the Lidja Club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Or perhaps all of them, who knows? Alright, I didn't need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing your poems tonight. And dun dun dun! We're ending it there. <laughs> yes, we will end it. I'm going to try to end it on every poem night, just so I have some kind of even see. Um, so far, besides the very beginning, nothing has changed. It doesn't look like nothing I've noticed. Nothing has changed with it. Everything seems to be the same, but it's not. Now, as y'all saw in the beginning, there is. Monica doesn't have control of this world anymore, but I have a feeling they all still have their issues and Monica just made it worse. So we're probably still going to have to save the girls, but I got this. I can do it! But yes, I will be end up ending it there guys. Uh, sorry it took so long for the Doki Doki video. <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> well, say I want to do longer videos, but I want to make sure I can get plenty of actual videos out. I'm not trying to do it in like four or five videos. I don't know. I want to space them out a bit more. But thank you all guys for watching. And those who watch later, make sure to please like and subscribe. Pretty please. At least then you'll be able to catch up with my other Doki Doki videos. Or any other video I end up posting. Oh, and... Make sure to check out my Twitch, as I've been playing New World recently, and it's a lot of fun. Anyway guys, it's late, and I'm not going to bed, because I just woke up. <laughs> bye bye!